So Pinterest has this tool that is super handy. It was super handy. And then they recently updated it. And now it's even more super handy. Today, we are talking about the Pinterest trends tool. I want to talk about how this is useful for you as a business owner or creator on Pinterest, marketing your stuff over there. And I want to talk about why it's so great. Hey, it's Tabby with Simple Pin Media, and we are here to help you find your perfect person on Pinterest. So the Pinterest trends tool is basically a page that you go to. You can either type in trends.pinterest.com or under your Pinterest account at the top under analytics in the drop down, you will see the option for trends. That's the trends tool. The trends tool has always been cool. It came out, I think back in 2020. And it was always great because it would give you words that were trending on Pinterest. And these would be your keywords. It helps you find your keyword. That's what it does. And it's just like super handy. The reason why it has gotten better is because they are now allowing you to search keywords, keyword phrases that your specific audience searches. It also helps you find very specific keywords and keyword phrases for your niche. So here's a disclaimer. In order to see those very specific keyword searches that your audience is using on Pinterest, you have to have a big enough audience. If you don't have a big enough audience, you're not gonna see those very specific searches. However, you will still see a lot of other options, general keywords that are very popular on Pinterest, trending searches. But let me tell you something, we don't get that option. If I log into our Simple Pin Pinterest account, which I manage, by the way, <laughs> I don't get to see the very specific what your audience is searching for option because apparently, according to Pinterest, our audience on Pinterest is not big enough. Is that the end of the world? No, it's not. Because out of all of the platforms we're on, which we are on regularly, Instagram, Facebook, now YouTube, Pinterest, and sometimes Twitter, out of all of those, Pinterest blows them all out of the water for us. So take all of this information about the Pinterest trends tool and the new features they are offering with a grain of salt. If your audience isn't big enough by Pinterest standards, that doesn't mean that your audience isn't over there on Pinterest. Whether your audience is big enough or not big enough, you can still use the trends tool to help you in many different areas as you use Pinterest to market your business. And here's how. Number one, you can use the trends tool to help you plan your seasonal calendar, your seasonal content calendar. Use the tool to gauge upcoming trends or events or seasons that could relate to what you do, what you sell, what you talk about. Use those ideas to fill your content calendar. Number two, to help you know when to share your content. Because this trends tool doesn't only show you what trends are popular or surging on Pinterest, but it also tells you when they are surging. Could be right now, like you'll see an option where it's like top trends this week. And so those would be trends that are hot right now. But you can also search keywords or keyword phrases to get a calendar year graph of when that keyword or keyword phrase is spiking, you know? So then you know, you know when you know. Number three, to help you write the best page in title and description. This is actually my favorite use of the tool is to help me figure out what would be the best keyword or keywords to use in my pin title, my board title, my pin description, my board description. Because you know what you get to do? You get to compare keywords to each other. For example, we have a pin that 
leads to a sign up page for one of our free Pinterest planners. And in the description, we had Pinterest planner, but using the trends tool, we came to the realization that instead of using Pinterest planner, we should be using a digital planner because digital planner is searched on Pinterest way more than Pinterest planner. In fact, pretty sure keyword Pinterest planner doesn't even show up in the trends tool. Number four, to help you better understand your audience. Because you know, you know what you're, they're searching, you know what they're interested in, you know how their brain thinks, what they're typing in the search bar. And when you know all of those things, then you know how to target them. So let's talk about the tool itself. Okay, so I'm gonna show you on the screen the tool and the different little areas that you can go to and search this or that. But keep in mind that our audience isn't big enough on Pinterest. So I don't have that one feature, but I will navigate through this tool for you. And I highly encourage you to go to trends.pinterest.com or click on the analytics drop down in your Pinterest account and hit trends and just play around with the tool. First, we're heading to the region section. This is where you get to select where you want to see what trends are doing what. In Canada, just a few weeks or two ago was Canada Thanksgiving Day. That means their searches for certain Canadian Thanksgiving food or decor or things like that were higher way before U.S. Thanksgiving because in the U.S. our Thanksgiving is the end of November. So if you want to get specific about where your audience is and what's trending for them, where they are, this would be a good place to start. Let's look at the main search bar. This is where you can type in maybe specific keywords that you use often and just see how they stack up and start comparing them to other keywords keyword phrases that maybe you use elsewhere or that maybe your peers competition use and compare. So then we get to the discover table section. And this is the kind of newer area that everybody can use as long as you have a business account. And this is where you can get really specific. You can narrow down your search for things like top monthly trends, top yearly trends, growing trends, or seasonal trends. And then from each of those categories, you can break down your search even more to things like specific interest, specific keywords, age, gender, and also to search all of those things by a custom date. So as you can see, it gets pretty specific and so that makes it pretty awesome. You also have that section at the top, the top trends for the month. That's more of a general what's hot on Pinterest right now and you can search through it and just see if anything relates to your niche and what you talk about or what you sell and then take those ideas and make something from it. Then we get to the view trends specific to your audience part. And this is pretty cool because this feature shows you trending searches from your audience. And this includes people who have engaged with your content on Pinterest in the last 90 days. So it's pretty telling. I wanna talk about how the trends tool helps you in your Pinterest ads. It will definitely help you get your timing right. Cause you know, you don't wanna put money behind a Pinterest ad and then it not be the right timing. It's gotta be spot on. The trends tool will also help you speak their language. You can better optimize your pin copy title description when you know the language that your audience is using. You can also discover new opportunities because you know, you may discover new topics or search terms that your audience is searching for but you never knew about and so now you get to tap into a new area. But the trends tool is really just one small little part of your Pinterest ads journey. And because we are talking a lot about Pinterest ads this month, we have a special free three-day training coming up, which I'll link below. And we have our 
Ad Society membership opening up this month. If you want to learn more about Pinterest ads, I highly recommend you go sign up right now because literally right now, this week, when I uploaded this video onto YouTube, we are right smack dab in the middle of a Pinterest ads kickstart free three-day training. Although it has already started, it's not too late to sign up. You can get replays and all of those. However, if you are watching this after this week, then it will be closed. But don't worry, we do have a free Pinterest ads checklist that you can download. Those two links are below. Down below. I'm done. My innie is going outie. <laughs> all right, see you next week.